Yo, what's up, my guys? Welcome back to Urban Wisdom. It's your boy, Rubes Coops. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Urban Wisdom. I will have a notebook. So, I hope you've heard whatever that we're going to talk about in this video. Remember, I'm not an expert, but I'll give you something that actually worked out for me. Okay? Well, number one, either you're toxic or, I mean, actually not either, you're actually toxic and hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's it, okay? So, that's basically it. Now, straightforwardness can come in many forms. Maybe being straightforward in the aspect of, you're not clear with what you want the person. Yeah, it's very good to actually practice being straightforward like that's the solution practice to be straightforward it's gonna help you a lot it's gonna save you a lot of energy for you and your friends or for you and your partner yeah as well it it helps also to develop yourself character wise you learn to be assertive you learn to be out whoa what <laughs> sorry sorry it's it's just my community coming in guys guys you know learn how to speak english where's your grammatical grammars yeah so anyway you learn to be assertive you learn to be ambitious as well okay what does that mean well here's one thing i don't get or at least i think we don't get is pressure like being a guy is a lot of pressure like pressure from everyone pressure from your friends your family as a guy you have to become your own man and as a result um, we have to figure out some things before we can enter into a relationship because we have to be the guy of that relationship and we have to provide security sort of so like we need to figure that thing out for ourselves before we can do that you know like we need to figure out our grind we need to figure out our passions before we can enter a relationship you get right. from that question clearly they don't give up about you Okay. they just they just don't care about you basically that is it there's no better explanation to that they just don't care about you as simple as that now maybe you're wondering besides that why thing is she likes the whole idea of you but she doesn't like the content in you Gwenda, talk of Gwen okay so so long as she likes what she sees then she can change what's inside Okay, so which is a very clear indicator that she doesn't like me. I mean, if it's something that I did, clearly I'll do that because I actually don't care about the person. Okay. Oh. Well, <clears throat> it means he likes you. That's that's pretty evident. But okay. But that doesn't mean that should confuse a guy saying he likes you to he wants to be with you there's a difference because liking someone having feelings for someone and wanting to commit to them being ready to commit to them are two entirely different things you know um uh, think of it this way uh liking someone is emotional committing to them is logical you have to think about it it's a, cho it's a choice ah, yeah. <clears throat> Just one sec. it's a choice that you make to commit to someone you know and it's more than just the cutting liquor feeling you feel now it's more than that it's that commitment that you choose to make and so if he says he likes you but isn't clear on whether he's committed to you then he's not i think both making a girl and say okay that one i haven't understood that question properly 
what what's the line between making a girl feel unsafe how do you make a girl feel unsafe i guess through the words that you say to her through the actions and unsafe can come in various ways it may come in form of lack of assurance as well you know maybe something that you do and you just don't like it i mean she, she doesn't like it yeah and making a move making a move what what what's the line between making a girl feel unsafe and making a move so is it that making a move makes a girl hey guys there's a monkey 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 over there we live in a jungle but hey so <laughs> just joking just joking no anyway um that question isn't really that clear but is it how you do it or what you do it? Basically, it's both. It's both how you do it and what you, and and what you do and how you do it. It's important, basically. Yeah. So how to deal with this? Um, is that pre- okay? Honestly, I just haven't understood that question. I just haven't. What's the line between making a girl? Please, if you can clarify that, you can tell me. You know, because I don't understand. What's the difference? I mean, what's the line between making a girl feel unsafe and making a move? Is it what you do or how you do it? Okay, for sure, in that question, for how you do it and what you, and what. You so, this ties back to number one with the whole pressure thing, where we need to figure ourselves out, and it also ties and it also kind of answers number two. Now the thing is, as a guy, you need to be careful what choice you make, you know, because when you make a choice, you have to deal with all those consequences, you know, like you have to be the man, you know, when you make a choice, it's like you have to take everything that comes with it. And distance is good in the sense that it gives you perspective, you know, it allows you to think, gives you time to really process you know, I think girls, I don't know if it's because they mature faster or what it is, but or like when a girl enters a relationship, they have the end goal in mind. For guys, it's not so much because guys are still trying to figure things out. And so what I can honestly say, the advice I can give is if a guy says he likes you, but like kind of wishy washy with a relationship thing, like it's a situationship, or distances himself I would say that he may like you but that doesn't mean he's ready for a relationship you know and I think every guy and every girl should really make sure that they're ready you know just because you like someone doesn't mean you need to enter a relationship with them you know it sometimes you need to work on yourself and I feel like people feel like if I don't make a move now or this this thing right now then I lose this chance forever and that may be true you may not be able to do it with this person but there'll be more people okay like i don't believe that there's one soulmate you have out of seven and a half billion people is that one person you're with i don't believe that i believe there's a number of people that come into your life that are good for you and but ultimately it's your choice you can end up with someone that you don't like but you commit to them because it's a choice you know so that's my advice on these questions that girls would like to ask boys sorry about that sorry you know technical issues but anyway i have gotten the light so what the person is trying to say is when making a move is it what you do it i mean what you do or how you do it well again both of them uh, will equate to the totality and there's an aspect of maybe you having to maybe do it in a way and it's weird or something let me tell you this okay no one is normal let me just say that you know okay thing is what is normal to me is not normal to someone else let's start from there okay so what you might consider to be weird is normal to me what you might what i might consider to be normal is i mean what i what you consider to be normal is weird to me so that's the thing so how to know if 
well first of all keep an open mind because we experience people differently we are not all the same okay so keep an open mind if you're gonna make a move okay but before you make a move you know that is why the talking stage is there okay just don't go poof you know you, you get yeah you just don't go like that you need to talk about okay not to talk about it but get to learn the person that is the whole point of the talking stage get to learn the person get to learn what they like get to learn what they find weird and vice versa they should also do the same for you so that you get to understand when you get to that scenario you just don't go you know you know it just falls <laughs> yeah so you guys just get to know each other even you can go to the extent of actually even talking about it okay maybe what someone likes if it's not as in you can you can the whole point is just keep an open mind even for a girl don't be like hey this guy is so weird he's asking me these questions he's trying to learn you sis he's trying to learn you okay so when he asks such questions don't be so you know like man so you turn on them as like don't be like that be open-minded about it okay yeah so that's what i've learned so Things that guys do not know about girls. Number one, we're all different. We are all different, okay? We do things dif- dif- We do things differently. And yeah, the results are also different. So we're not all the same. So maybe what you experienced with other girls, how they reacted to maybe certain situations is not the same as a girl that you're dealing with. So please guys, never generalize whatever you have experienced with other girls. That is why the talking stage is there. You get to know each other and that's the stage that many people take advantage of and they do not like take it seriously. Like one ananga, ah, don't do that. Take it seriously. Get to learn the person. Yeah, communicate. Get to know what they like. Don't be like, Ati, what do you like? I like black. Kwanza, Ati, Ati, what's your favorite color? This is a color that said, yeah, Okay, color fine. Color fine. But like, Ati, what songs do you listen to? Ati, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, get be serious. Let's be serious. Okay? Get to learn them properly. Alright. Yeah. The other thing that guys don't know about girls is... They don't like being generalized personally i don't like being generalized uh at the, oh you know my demo na konga blah 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 please shut up shut up okay Shh. we are not all the same so we are not just because you went through others doesn't mean we're all the same that is why you need to learn someone you might maybe find a series of three girls who are the same but that doesn't mean all of us are the same okay yeah comprende Hi, number three, not all of us lie. Personally, I hate liars. Personally, I practice as much as I can not to lie. Because I practice what I want others to practice on me. You get? Like, I don't want to lie, so I don't expect you to lie. Or I don't want to be lied to, so I don't expect to lie to other people. Practice what you say. And yeah, not all of us lie. Yeah? Maybe you have experienced people who've lied, but that's uh, sorry, sorry, that's unfortunate, but not all of us lie. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, Karibu Sana. <laughs> Welcome to the family, guys. So that's it, what we have for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've learned something to take home during quarantine, after quarantine. You know, like, share, and subscribe, guys not subscribe subscribe <laughs> yeah anyway i hope you've enjoyed peace out if you have any more questions if you feel like anything is unanswered or you disagree with anything i've said please let us know down in the comments thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching up on wisdom i said that twice please uh subscribe follow share with your friends your family hit the bell for more notifications i don't know what follow means can you follow someone on facebook i don't know but thank you guys so much for watching peace out